All right, this is um, a continuation now of the TSL setup. You've got it physically assembled at this time, but we don't plug it into the PC right away. You have to first install a driver for Windows for this TSL 1128. And to do so, you can go out to the support website that we have for the Brady RFID system, click on the hardware tab, then the TSL reader, and as you scroll down, there's a section here for virtual com drivers and there's a zip file here section exe click on it it'll download and you can see i've done this a few times so i'm going to just click on it to run it hit yes take all of the defaults these are generic drivers uh, from an organization ftdi been around for a long time they make um, virtual com drivers for generic uh, hardware okay Hit finish, and now we're not completely done. The driver supposedly has installed, but on some systems you may have some additional hardware which may have conflicted with that driver. So just to make sure, we're going to type in uh, and go to Device Manager. And we'll look. Right now I don't have anything connected, so I don't see ports. But now I'm going to go ahead and connect my uh, TSL reader to the PC via the USB cable that they supply. See if I can actually do that. And if the driver was properly installed and recognized, now you'll see a port section with a COM port that's been um, assigned to this TSL reader. You can click on it, right click, hit properties, you'll see a port settings. It might make some uh, difference. Uh, this is 9600, this is what it typically will come in as. You can change it to that. So, but frankly, in using the Brady ATA Tag Assistant program, it doesn't matter what your port setting is. It appears that that program is setting it itself. Okay, so we have now confirmed that the driver is um, properly installed. We can close that and we can start the ATA Tag Assistant program. And you'll see that you've got one COM port here. You could have many for other devices. Just make sure you're selecting the one that is assigned to the 1128. When you hit connect, um, it should come back now and give you the serial number. This will match the barcode that's on top of the RFID reader. If it doesn't, you connected to something else. Okay. And now you can click on the find button or you can just um, pull the trigger itself and you can find whatever tags are in that vicinity. You click on one of them and you'll see the EPC. And we'll follow through with the how to use the Tag Assistant program in a separate video.